I had an audio at the Denver. In the NFL, when you look at a safety, is it more important to get that guy 6'1", 6'2", that can get down in the box, or are you just looking for that multifaceted player? It would be ideal to have him 6'1", and 6'2". Unfortunately, a lot of the real good ones aren't 6'1", and 6'2", which I think, you know, Winfield and Whitehead, pretty good safeties in the National Football League at 5'10", and... 510. But yes, you'd like them bigger because they give you the arm span and so on and so forth. And really, they give you the matchup on the tight end that you want. All the tight ends are 6'4 and up. So you'd like at least a strong safety, 6'1. Six six you'd love them 6'2. There just aren't a lot of them. Could you speak to Winfield's second season? He made the Pro Bowl. He had some massive splash plays for you. How leaving Michael Pittman in Indianapolis? Mm hmm. I think Winfield, I think, I think Antoine just gets better and better. But that's the type of kid he is, is because of his father and his background, he's just a blue-collar guy. You know, the one thing with Winfield where I challenged him after this year is, run support-wise, you're beautiful. You're beautiful in a lot of areas. Let's start getting six and seven interceptions a year. Let's, let's put that, let's make that the next step where you're going to get six or seven interceptions because the real good players and the great players love to get challenged. So that's the challenge this year is let's get six and seven interceptions. We know you can blitz. We know you can tackle. We know you can pass defend. Let's, let's get the football a little more. Coach, what do you need to see from Mike Edwards this year to trust him to be a full-time starter? In I trust Mike more now. If you look at it, Mike's had five interceptions in the last two years, probably playing a fourth of the reps a starter would get. So I trust Mike more now. Each safety has some certain areas he has to improve on. And with Michael, it's going to consistently be being able to make that open field tackle. He, he improved last year. He made more tackles in the open field than he had the year earlier. Ball-wise, Mike can play the football. So Mike just has to keep maturing, and it's going to be a great challenge for him because he'll start off at that strong safety position, and then we'll see what Neil does. And that's what Todd wanted to do. Todd wanted to create – so we have some competition back there at safety. Now, uh, you know, Winfield and Edwards, you know, they're looking at Logan Ryan and Neal, which makes a healthy group, and they go out and they compete. I think, uh, this, the corner you got in the fifth round, uh, Zion McCollum. Mm -hmm. um, he, he'll be a corner, I know. He'll but, be a corner. But uh, he played for Keeler. I, I know you know Played for KC well. Keeler, who I coached for KC for seven years. And uh, KC gave nothing but great reviews on the young man. Just nothing but great reviews. A real good person. He'll be a sponge. Excellent athlete. And I think when you get, you know, when you get kids from college to the NFL, you know, the biggest difference is the wide receivers are all pretty darn good. So you got to start to use more technique than just pure innate speed at this level. But KC said he was, you know, really good football player. So we'll see. You had a couple practice squad safeties last year, Warner. What do you think about Warner and Cooper? They'll get an opportunity this spring, and then they'll get an opportunity in uh, in the practice games to see what they can do. They've been in the system now two years, so it'll be good for Cooper and Warner to see what they can do. As far as, and I always go back to this. The safeties have to process because they make all the calls. You've got to be able to process when you're back there. And that's what Mike does. Mike's extremely intelligent. Winfield's intelligent. Whitehead was intelligent. So, you know, they have to see if they can process. Along those lines, nobody likes the way that I'm sure you don't like the way the season ended. With no. The cup down the middle of the field. So, so. Did you have too many mental errors, not just in that game, but just in, in general? No, no, I, I, I hear about but no, no. You know, what's interesting is, and you can twist stats whichever way you want to twist them, in your favor and their favor. Well, what I always do is at the end of the year I look at the stats 
okay? People threw the football on us 40.2 times a game, more than anybody else in the NFL. Why do they do that? Because we say you're not going to run the football. So when you get the football thrown on you 40 times in, in the NFL, you're going to give up some yards. So then I go back and I look at yards per attempt. We ended up number three in the NFL. I think it was Buffalo, New England, and us. So that tells you if they're throwing the ball 40 times a game and we're third in yards per attempt, they're not getting the deep ball. Now, I'd love to say in the NFL we're never going to give up a deep ball. Or if we do give up a deep ball, it's when we're ahead 40 to 7. Occasionally you give up a deep ball. We picked up the wrong time to give up a deep ball. I asked John Lynch after he retired, could you play safety under these new rules? His answer was expletive deleted, no. How hard is it to temper the aggression of the safeties? It's very hard. Like with Jordan Whitehead, I had to tell him every Saturday night. Now remember, keep your head up, lead with your shoulders because, you know, you watch Jordan play, it's whew, he don't care about his body. And with those kids that love contact, that love contact, it's hard. Because at a split second, that receiver puts his head down. So, you know, John Lynch was exactly right because John played the game the way the game's supposed to be played. Coach, have you noticed any difference at all with Todd now being the head coach? He's got a lot more responsibilities. There's co-defensive coordinators, yet it's the same system and everybody around. Have you noticed anything? None at all. None at all. And I, 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 I would like to think he's coached with the same people in and out for the last decade. You know, uh, me and Kevin were with Todd in Arizona. Casey was with Todd at the Jets and then here. So, you know, you're going on, this will be six years coaching with Todd. So we kind of know the system. We know what Todd wants, how he wants it. All his Todd will do right now is exactly what he did before. And then we'll tweak some things for our opponents, but no, I, I've seen no difference. He, if you were out of practice, he's running the defensive practice. So, we'll just get a Kyler McMichael. Uh, you guys have mentioned he's going to play some safety too. No, the kid from, no, you would say the kid from Carolina. Carolina. I don't, okay. I don't. Mm -mm. No, right now, we're going to try to give the reps. You know, once Winfield comes in, everybody's in, but Win. Win's down in Lauderdale training. We're going to be three deep. So, you know, you you got to be careful that the right people get the rep. So we'll have six safeties, and we'll be ready to go. Who replaces that physicality that Jordan gave you? I don't know if anybody replaces it, but as long as we make the tackle, we make the tackle. Now, Neil, if you go back to Neil's first couple years, there wasn't a better strong safety in the league. So he's he's extremely physical. But as long, you know, Jordan tackled different than Winfield. Winfield takes your legs out and lives another play where Jordan just threw his body. You know, Jordan didn't care. Every play was the last play. That's how he played. We just got to make sure we make the tackle. I don't care if it's, yeah, just get him on the ground. Thank you. Thanks, Coach. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome.